Hey there, so today we have another review. This is La Chouf. Uh, La Chouf, this is from, well, oh yeah, wow, I didn't, I forgot. La Chouf is uh, part of Duval Morgat now. Um, used to be Brasserie de La Chouf from De, de La Chouf, Belgium. So, wow, the font on this is miserably uh, small to try to read. Da, da, da. Um, a little bit of coriander fruity tones in here. Um, Believe ale brewed with a coriander. I don't believe it's under BJCP. I don't think so. But this is pretty much from runners, or pretty much like analogous to a Belgian Golden Strong Ale. Something like that. Yeah, look at that beautiful Belgian head being created. That's one of the big things I noticed about like Hef, uh, Hefeweizen and a lot of like uh, Belgian styles. Like when the Americans attempt to make it, like you gotta get the car, bro. Like I know it's annoying. Like it, it, it's the bottle conditioning, and, and it, even if, if, well, if you're not bottle conditioning, I don't, I don't actually don't know how you're bottling um, at the, the, the such high volumes of CO two. But it's like such an integral part of these beers. Like how do you make the, like a pale eight percent beer like drinkable? I mean, generally, it's not that easy, but Belgians have figured it out. So the beer comes in it's got a little haze to it, huh? Uh, the beer comes in a light to medium gold color. Um, it's got a medium haze to it, uh, more of a rocky, um, off white head, on the aroma. Mm, I mean, that's Belgian for days. Um, Best Buy, basically in about two, oh yeah, it's like Best Buy about a year away. Oh, I'm curious when this is actually bottled. Okay, a year away. Yeah, yeah, um, it's everything. I mean, it, it's got this little bit of like spicy, um, or this kind of like, uh, what is it like citrusy coriander notes to it you get the um aslama acetate that huge like banana runs um sweet even like more than banana runs almost like sweet actual banana as well no just runs <laughs> that's just aslama acetate it's like you try to trick yourself to think that like well maybe it smells like actual what bananas we think of bananas today but it's just runs right um candied banana a little bit of that um ethyl acetate so it's a little bit of that kind of like a little bit of that Hints of like rubber, plasticky kind of thing going on. Sweet oranges, well, some citrus, some um, tangerine. I'm also get a little bit of oh, the clove is in there, so it's like banana, clove, um, a little bit of sweet red apple. Like oh, so again, all the esters and tonics are in here. Like this Belgian brewery, right? Cheers. Not all, literally, but a lot of predominant ones that we're familiar with. So first thing, just like I noticed in the pour, the carb. <laughs> um, this beer drinks like soda. It just hits the palate and you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a carbonic bite. Um, it just gives levity and lightness to the beer, right? Like it makes the beer more acidic and and, um, and, and sparkle on your palate. Jeez. Wow. Wakes up the palate, boom. First thing you notice is the carbonation and then onto that kind of like um, banana sweetness, but it's not as like intense as like Hefeweizen, but you know, more familiar with your um, golden Belgian beers, like triples, Belgian golden strongs, banana. The honey kind of malt character, a nice kind of sweetness, a um, little bit of almost like um, brioche or challah kind of like sweet breadiness going on as well. Um, hits on with like a little bit of like lingering um, woodsy herbal hop bitterness. There's a little bit of that kind of like citrusy, kind of like lemony uh, coriander note in there as well. Sweet red apple. Floral as well. It's almost like a lavender note in here, um, probably from the coriander and, and or the hopping. The beer is noticeably uh, sparkly and prickly up front, but then the beer is also noticeably dry while also offering like a like a, a chewy middleness of that kind of like uh, sweet kind of like banana and fruity palm fruits and, and citrusy and all those like fruity esters in the middle along with like a sweet breadiness, but then it ends up like a little bit hoppy and a little bit dry as well. So like medium minus bitterness, like like light to medium minus bitterness, mm. medium minus bitterness, and then like one of the dry. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Whereas I find like Duval is like so reliant on that kind of like like pear kind of um, flavor, um, this seems to 
a little bit more, probably a little bit more banana ester in there, and then also just like a wider range. I find like maybe like possibly higher complexity. I don't know. You have to do a side by side, so like I can't promise you, but possibly higher complexity of like different kind of esters and phenols playing in here. Obviously, both will have like you know very similar um, flavor uh, flavor characteristics, but I find this one's a little less dominated by just like that big pear quality that I get from Google. Um, it's just darn good. Like. This is a sleeper. I don't know how many people drink it last year, but you guys got to get some. It is freaking fantastic. Um, again, the analogous beer that uh, I would recommend would be uh, Noma Gang, which is like obviously like I think a better price point because it comes in the, the the sixteen ounce. It's obviously way fresher, just being produced stateside instead of being shipped all the way from um, Belgium. But um, that beer is high high quality, and this is another one. Well, obviously, well then Noma Gang Noma Gang uses the shoe fee, so it's like like very analogous beers right um what is that beer good it's like dry super drinkable crushable like a lot of people you know some of their belgian fa favorites you know I, i'm just thinking ones off the top of my mind people will call like duval and vesmal and um maybe le fin du monde la Chouf. this guy needs to be on that list like this is a top top big dog in my, in my opinion of like quality you know, golden, higher ABV, 80%, you know, somewhere in that golden belt and strong slash triple kind of conversation. Um, hell, some people call it delirium tremens. I'd, I'd, I'd pick this up with delirium. Boy, is that dangerous. The carb is just so noticeably prickly and, and enjoyable. Again, again, it's it's so important that you get that experience because when you try the American examples, you're like, oh, that's why this sort of fell flat on his face because and compared to this, where it's like, oh, like the carb is like, what? just like it's one of like the biggest signature characteristics about the beer and when you don't have it it just makes the beer like right doesn't like this this beer's just not there without it right it's just such such a significant again like <laughs> like imagine someone told you like hey is, there's a new fat out there like it's just coca-cola but it's flat like it's oh it's 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 state it's like um a specialty you know coca-cola that, that they make now but it's like half the amount of carbonation right you're like what, what are you, the good stuff's already like carved right so um Anyway, that's the analogy I can make up. Uh, this beer is absolutely crazy good. Darn, is that good? Um, so dry. Like, this is dry. Jeez, 97. This is 97. This is freaking good. La Chouf. Let me know what you think. I don't think I've reviewed this one on the channel. Uh, this Milan since I've had it, so I highly recommend it. You can find this. Get some. Later.